Hello, my name's David Swanson and this is MathsWithDavid.com. Today we're going to do a worked solution of a parametric equations question involving trigonometry. Specifically, it's question 4 from the summer 2017 Pure Mathematics 3 Cambridge International A-Levels 9709 paper. So we'll start by reading through the question. The parametric equations of a curve are x equals the natural logarithm of cosine theta, y equals 3 theta minus tan theta, where 0 is less than or equal to theta is less than a half of pi. Part 1 express dy dx in terms of tan theta, and part 2 find the exact y coordinate of the point on the curve at which the gradient of the normal is equal to 1. OK, so for part 1, to find dy dx when we've got parametric equations, we need to use the fact that dy dx is equal to dy d theta times by d theta dx. And we can rewrite that instead of timesing by d theta dx, we divide by dx d theta. So we've got dy dx is equal to dy d theta divided by dx d theta. So then we just need to differentiate are two parametric parts. So if we do dy d theta, y is 3 theta minus tan theta, dy d theta is going to be 3 minus sec squared theta, or 1 over cosine squared theta. And dx d theta, dx is log of cosine theta, dx d theta is going to be 1 over cosine theta, and using the chain rule, times by minus sine theta. So we're told that we need to express everything in terms of tan theta. Now, on our numerator, what we can do with our sec squared theta, we can rewrite the 1 as cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta. So we've got 3 minus cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta over cosine squared theta. And then on the top there, we've got minus sine theta over cosine theta. That straightforwardly becomes minus tan theta on the bottom there, sorry. Um, so then on the numerator, we've got 3 minus cosine squared theta over cosine squared theta is 1, and then minus sine squared theta over cosine squared theta is tan squared theta. So you can see how we've got the tans there. And on the bottom are minus tan theta. So we've got 2 minus tan squared theta over minus tan theta. So if we just neaten that up, that's... Uh, tan squared theta minus 2 over tan theta. So the second part of the question, we want the y-coordinate of the point on the curve at which the gradient of the normal is equal to 1. So the gradient of the normal is equal to 1 is the same as saying that the gradient of the tangent is equal to minus 1 divided by 1, which is minus 1. So we want the gradient of our tangent to be minus 1, now, our gradient of our tangent is dy dx, which we found in the first part. So we want that tan squared of theta minus 2 over tan theta is equal to minus 1. So that's the same as saying that tan theta is equal to minus tan squared theta plus 2, which if we then rearrange that, we've got tan squared theta plus tan theta minus 2 equals 1 which we can factorise as tan theta plus 2 times by tan theta minus 1 equals 0, which shows we've got the two, so, two solutions, the two roots, tan theta equals minus 2 or tan theta equals 1. So the solutions to this for theta, uh, we've got theta is the inverse tan of 2 plus k pi or the inverse tan of minus 1 plus k pi for k belongs to the integers. Let me just explain about this k pi here, because if you think of the tangent function, it repeats itself every pi as you go around your circle. We put a k pi at the end because our calculator will only give us the first inverse tangent in the, in the uh, acute quadrant there, in the first quadrant. So our plus k pi gives us all the possible results. So inverse tan of 2 is minus 1.107 is our calculator result, so we've got theta is minus 1.107 plus k pi, and tan minus 1 of minus 1, we, we, sorry, tan minus 1 of 1, we already know is, is pi over 4, 
to a gradient of, uh, of 1 is like a y equals x slide, so it's 45 degree angle. So pi over 4 plus k pi. Now we're told in the question that, that theta belongs to the, the interval from closed interval from 0 to an open pi over 2. Minus 1.107 plus k pi has no solutions in this interval, so our only solution is our pi over 4. So theta is equal to pi over 4, and tan theta is equal to 1. So our y here is tan theta minus 3 theta is going to be 3 pi over 4 minus 1. So where did we get the, um, the marks on this part? We got one accuracy mark for getting the denominator uh, dy d theta um, accurately. And we got one method mark uh, for setting it out as dy over d theta over dx d theta with the values in. And an accuracy mark for getting those values correctly in there. And then a following accuracy mark for following it all the way through to get tan squared theta minus 2 over tan theta. We then got a, a method mark for putting our dy dx from the first part equal to minus 1, seeing that that was the tangent related to the normal of 1. We then got a method mark for getting a quadratic in tan theta and factorising it. And we got an accuracy mark for the final answer of 3 pi over 4 minus 1. There were two points of interest in the examiner's report. Uh, first point was that some people didn't use the minus 1 as the gradient of the t tangent. Uh, when people ask for normal or tangent, sometimes they get confused and, and didn't see that uh, we had to divide our normal gradient uh, by minus 1 in order to get our gradient of our tangent, which is our dy dx. And again, some went to decimals too early uh, and lost accuracy in this. So I emphasise with pi's, with e's, with the logarithms, only go to decimals for the final answer if you're not asked to give the answer accurately. Keep in the, uh, in the general form of the, of the E or the log, the more accurate form, until the last possible stage. So I hope that's been useful. We've got a lot of Pure Mathematics 3 questions on the website at mathswithdavid.com and at the YouTube channel. I'll put a link at the end of the video so you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and be updated about new videos and also a link to a playlist of Pure Mathematics 3 questions. Thank you for listening. We'll see you in another video.